Live now to the Greens headquarters in Collingwood. Victorian Green Senator Janet Rice joins me. Senator, thanks for your time. How many seats are you hoping the Greens can pick up tonight? Look, we're really hoping to double our representation in the, in the lower house and potentially pick up a couple of seats in the upper house as well. We've already got the seats of Melbourne, Paran and Brunswick, which we're really confident of holding on to. And then I'm here in the seat of Richmond, where Gabrielle de Vetri has run the most amazing people-powered campaign, knocked on 16,000 doors. And she's been a rock star on the booths because so many people have recognised her and really want her to win. And in the seat of Northcote, where we just heard that sort of the votes are flowing to the Greens, and we're really hopeful of picking that up as well, which was a seat that we have previously held. And then, who knows after that? I mean, Albert Park's a possibility. I was out handing out in Pasco Vale and getting a really good response for our um, candidate there, Angelica Panopoulos. And even in Footscray, which is where I was this morning, with also be an outside chance. So, you know, it's early days, obviously, with the counting so far, but we know that we have run such a positive people-powered campaign, knocked on 50,000 doors around the state. It's, yeah, been really positive. And similarly, you know, to the really great outcomes that we felt at the federal election, this has got the potential to be a real turning point in Victorian politics and have the Greens having real power in the state parliament and be able to push a Labor government Senator, to actually deliver Senator, beyond that people on power approach that you talk about, the campaigning and stuff, why do you think seats like Richmond have been in Labor's hands for, for decades, more than 100 years, in fact, in Richmond? Why are they shifting green, in your view? Look, there are a couple of reasons. Um, one is that they really... People see Labor not delivering on the basics. Things like affordable housing and building new public housing. We've got 125,000 people on our public housing waiting list. In another five years, it's actually going to be longer, even with the state government's supposed big build. People really are wanting to see serious action on climate and getting out of coal and gas. The Labor government want to be going ahead with new gas drilling just near the 12 apostles. These sorts of things are really resonating with voters. And people are sick and tired of the corruption in politics. They want to see a stronger anti-corruption commission here in Victoria. They want to see an end to the dirty donations from the gambling industry and the fossil fuel industry. And that's what they see Labor, see the Greens as really having the potential to deliver. Senator Rice, thank you very much for that.